as you might already see, I'm going to talk to you today about robots. I love robots. They've truly captured my imagination. Right? And I know I'm not alone. Whether you fell in love with Wally, were terrified by Terminator, or even just laughed at the antics of BB-8, everyone has their favorites. Robots have a unique power to captivate our imaginations, and more and more can be used in ways that we had never imagined possible many years ago, like aiding manufacturing processes, doing dangerous tasks that humans can't perform, or even, as I've found, education. Yep, that robot helped me love school. And I know there's some kids in the audience that are thinking that it's impossible to love school, but <laughs> I'll explain. <laughs> to me, robotics represents what our education system could be, should be, and will be in the very near future. So let me back up a bit. I fell in love with robotics when I discovered the local robotics team in my town, uh, Newton, Massachusetts, right down the road. Uh, and this team is called the Ligerbots. Now, the Ligerbots uh, are part of a broad organization called First Robotics, which is uh, a robotics competition for high schools that uh, gives teams six weeks to design and build robots to compete in robotics challenges. So these challenges could be like last year's challenge, Stronghold, in which robots crossed the fences, shot balls into the opponent's tower, defended their own tower from invaders, and even climbed the wall at the end of the game. Some of those robots can bench press more than I can. It's crazy. Um, <laughs> right, but how exactly did these robots help me love school? Well, aside from the great engineering that I did while building these, the most important thing that I took away from this experience was the idea of linking content to experience in education. Before I was on the Ligerbots, I had the mentality of the average student. Right? I went to class, took the notes, I went home, did the problems that were assigned in the back of the book, but I rarely felt motivated to go deeper. However, the Ligerbots changed my entire mentality regarding education. I started to see very real, very practical applications for the things that I was learning in school, which not only caused me to become more vested in my classes, but see my education as a whole very differently. Right? What I was learning during the day in physics and math, I was putting into practice at night at the Ligerbots. I found myself doing the same equation at 10 a.m. in the classroom as I did at 10 p.m. in the robotics lab, except at the robotics lab, Solving for that equation meant finding the dimensions of a real, tangible arm. And believe me, math is a lot easier to be passionate about when getting the right answer to an equation means getting to shoot your best friend in the head with a dodgeball. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 he almost got me there. He almost got me there. Right? <laughs> At this point, I was wondering if anybody else had thought the same things that I had, right? Because I, I'm just a teenager, and teenagers can never have original ideas, so I must have gotten this from somewhere, right? Well, it turns out that there are some pretty smart people who had uh, discovered the same thing that I had. So one of these uh, groups is uh, George Lucas's foundation, Edutopia, who call this idea project-based learning, which they define as creating a product or performance, right? Uh, solving a real-world problem, or even just designing an answer to an open-ended question. It's as simple as that. So next, I decided to ask my friends, what were their thoughts about project-based learning? Well. Much to my surprise, across the board, whether they were on the robotics team or they weren't, they did math, they did science, English, history, art, music, sports, whatever they did, the idea of linking content to experience and education was extremely important to them. So with technology uh, increasing as fast as it is today, right, what will this mean for the classroom 10, 20, or even 30 years in the future? Well, when I let my imagination loose, I see a classroom in which we can use virtual reality technology, robotics technology, and other experience-based simulations that immerse us in content. And this kind of makes sense, right? Because robotics, virtual reality, project-based learning, all these things have a common thread. And that's the experience of doing something, right? which can be extremely beneficial for learners. And the data backs this up, as studies have shown that students retain content for longer and have better attitudes towards learning when they're part of project-based, experience-based classrooms. So, although virtual reality is the hot topic right now, maybe it's a fad, maybe it isn't, regardless of, of what form it's in, I get extremely excited about the idea of linking content to experience. Hopefully, this will allow students to better learn, better engage, just like I was able to do via the Ligerbots. So, now I know you've been eagerly anticipating his uh, introduction. He tried to interrupt me a few times earlier, but I feel like because he's here, I might as well introduce him at this point. So. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is Talos, the 2016 Ligerbots competition robot. So let's give a hand for Talos. <laughs> S 
So with his, uh, with his durable tread system and rugged aluminum frame, Talos can best anyone in a shoving match. I don't want to get near that thing. <laughs> um, and just because he has brawn doesn't mean he has no brain. Uh, Talos can make shots uh, from up to 10 feet away. There we go. And so, uh, here, I'd like to talk to you about this arm. Right. So when we started out uh, designing this arm, it was a scramble of X's, Y's, and Z's in a notebook that would eventually, eventually, eventually unravel themselves to reveal real numbers. And while it might not seem like each one of those numbers is quite important on its own, right, behind each one of those dimensions right, was uh, the story of a person who spent an hour, maybe even two hours, grinding on an extremely long math equation. This is like calculus type stuff, right? And uh, they, they got their numbers, they go into the shop, they're gonna configure their prototype, and that 50th try, that time when it actually works, there's nothing else that person can do but put their hands up in the air and scream, yes! <laughs> because in that moment, they've experienced the epitome of project-based learning. That's the moment where it, everything makes sense. That's the moment where all that time that you spent in the classroom, bored out of your mind, is actually worth something in the real world. <laughs> I'm not here to convince you to join a robotics team. Instead, I'm here to convince you to challenge your education system. Teachers, I would encourage you to integrate project-based learning more into your classrooms. Right, if you're a parent, push your teachers and push your administrations to integrate more of this project-based learning. But if you're a student, Go out into the world and find your passion. Find a spark to drive you on your educational journey, just like I found robotics to drive me. There's a common saying in FIRST. FIRST is more than robots. This robot is more than just the arm we did, we did trigonometry for, more than just the circuits we learned to build in electronics class. Instead, this robot is the expression of what those who are engaged in their learning can accomplish. This robot helped me love school, and it could do the same for you. Go out there and find your spark.